Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTuber video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on something or someone going on in this wacky weird world. People decided to call pro wrestling, as you can tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts on the EST of WWE Bianca Belair before I share my thoughts and opinions on her. Would love to know what your thoughts are on Bianca down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. And I will fully admit, when it comes to Bianca Belair, I'm not the biggest fan supporter, mark, whatever terminology you would want to use. I'm not saying she's bad in the ring, bad on the mic, because she is arguably one of the most athletic, not only women in wrestling, but arguably one of the most athletic humans in uh, wrestling or sports entertainment uh, kind of deal as a whole, not just in WWE, or at least I think uh, she is uh, and whatnot. And it's just, I know that there's quite a few people that are a bigger fan, supporter, mark of her than I personally am. I know somebody that went to WrestleMania night one in Tampa uh, when she it was her and Sasha Banks in the main event that went just for that match kind of deal and whatnot for both Bianca and Sasha Banks. I'm not that big of a fan kind of deal. I do like her in the ring. I do like her on the mic. I'm not saying that she's bad at either one because like I said, one of the most athletic uh, people in all of wrestling and one of the better talkers that actually sound like a human uh, that can string words into a sentence and make it sound passable kind of deal not only in WWE but all of wrestling uh, and whatnot she's better at both than I am it's just it's, I'm not the biggest fan kind of deal or supporter or mark uh, it's one of those if I had to do a top five favorite female wrestlers in all of wrestling she would be number three four five kind of deal probably four or five kind of deal definitely top five but not my top of the top kind of deal again um there are people for i don't want to say for whatever reason uh but there's people who are bigger fans of her work than i am i will fully admit that and hypothetically if i were a wrestler kind of deal like a female wrestler i would want to be somebody more like Bianca Belair than Charlotte Flair. No disrespect to Charlotte. Charlotte Flair might be a different video uh, coming up, kind of talking about her uh, and whatnot. It's just one of those, no matter who she's in the ring with, it would be a good match because she's a good sports entertainer, wrestler, whichever way you would want to look at it. Uh, and whatnot, and hypothetically, never met her in the ring, never had a, or never met her in general, never had a social uh, media interaction with her, so it's not like a, I like her less because I met her this one time kind of deal, and X, Y, and Z happened. It's just, I know people who are bigger, like, people who would go out of their way to meet uh, Bianca, whether it's at some sort of an access, or before the show, or the... I forget what it's actually called. I call it the VIP experience. I think it's the superstar experience now in hopes of meeting Bianca Beller, people who would buy ringside uh, seats, uh, whether it's part of that package or not, or the aisle way in hopes of meeting her people who would go to events to make signs for her. I'm not really... Like, I, I wouldn't consider myself that kind of fan, kind of deal. Would I like to meet Bianca Belair? Yeah, she seems like a really good person to meet, kind of deal. Would I pay uh, the VIP experience, like the top tier, like the $200, $250 experience? Personally, no. Would I consider buying the $100 plus whatever fees? Yeah, I would consider doing that kind of deal because I like her again she's one of my favorites but she's not my top tier I have to meet her no matter what the price no matter where uh in the country kind of deal it's not to that level if it is for you great there's probably people 
on my invisible top tier list I would meet over and over again. That probably is not on yours, or at least I assume that is not on yours. Uh, kind of deal, but either way, those are uh, my thoughts and opinions. Would love to know what yours are down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, of course. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly, Hope you guys are doing okay uh, mentally, emotionally, and uh, physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's